Lion. What's up guys, Spin Firearms here. Today, we're gonna do a shooting review of the HK P2000 SK, but in 40 Smith & Wesson. Because it's in 40, because it's a subcompact, I got this for $500 brand new on PSA. Came with two mags, but also during the rebate season, I got four extra mags for it. So for a total of $500 plus tax, I walked away with this and six mags. It's an HK. Most HKs are tested in 40, so what better than getting a handgun that's a beast, a tank, and will last me the rest of my life in 40. Now, right here is a Glock 27, one of my favorite everyday carry options, right? They're both in 40. That's the size-wise. The 27 has a couple more rounds in it, but that's just a good reference point. But this is nine plus one of 40, but on top of that, there's the compact mags. And with the compact mags, if you get an X grip sleeve, you now have the compact size handgun, 12 plus one of 40 Smith & Wesson, right? So right here, you have a really nice package. It's actually pretty concealable, um, regardless of how wide it is. I'm relatively thin and I can still conceal it, no problem. So it is hammer fired, double action, single action with a decocker. I believe it, it has like a 3.5 inch barrel. Sorry about that. Finish isn't the greatest, but it'll never rust. Um, you can see a lot of wear and scratches from the holster. Texturing is really nice in the back and up front. That's mainly where you need it. There's not a whole lot on the sides. And with the X grip, it really locks in those three fingers. Also, there's a paddle release that you have to get used to. Otherwise, sometimes when you go to do it, it doesn't. So you got to sort of rotate your thumb in order to release that mag but comes with a rail just an overall awesome everyday carry option that you know will go bang not like some of these handguns nowadays where you're questioning yourself you're buying you know a canic meta mc9 and you're wondering is it going to go off when i need it to you don't feel that way with this you don't this is you know that's the thing about glocks and hks and stuff like that they're battle tested they're proven i don't care what anyone says about glock how outdated they are they're the same handgun all of them i don't care the point of them is to make it home at night. If you want a competition gun and all the extra stuff, go get one. But when it comes down to defending my life, I want something that's an absolute beast. I want something that's going to go bang every time, eat all my ammo, and just shoot really well. And that's simple. There's no optics cut on here, no uh, special night sights. There's you know, there, there's none of that. It's just a beast of a handgun that shoots really well. Let's go ahead and put some rounds on. We're going to try and do that little plate down below. we're at about 35 feet right now roughly and we did it with the range finder we're about halfway between the truck and the target so we're at about 35 feet that's 11 plus one in that setup if i had a round in the chamber then this is the nine round mag right here this is how i carry it when i do carry i'll actually drop that first but like i said if you want to decock it you just press this button and boom actually a pretty pretty cool um feature on it but that's what it looks like, nine plus one, extremely small. And I was gonna show you real quick, the Beretta PX4 Storm. I know I'm pulling guns out everywhere. And no, that wasn't Diddy style, the way I just pulled that out. <laughs> anyway, and look at that. 13 plus one and nine millimeter on the right versus nine plus one to 40. You may say, oh, the other handgun has more capacity. That's true. But 40, it's probably gonna get the job done quicker at night. It, it just, chances are that it will. Let's go ahead and shoot this. Then we're actually gonna shoot the PX4 Storm next to it, just because why not, right? With that flush mag, it's sort of awkward with your fingers. If you see that, it sort of sits outward, but it doesn't really matter. It's a carry gun. It's just a great handgun. It really is just a beast. Like, this is something I'll be handing down to my kids, and it'll still be accurate still be on point it'll still be in 40 and uh people will still hate on that complain because they can't shoot it but throw that in the holster real quick px4 storm let's talk about this 13 plus one in this tiny little setup no it doesn't have the rotating barrel <laughs> just get over it it's a beast also as a decocker single action double action check this out boink diddy 
Actually pretty sick, not gonna lie. But small, 3.1 inch barrel, just a beast of a handgun. I think I actually shoot the HK better, but this is an awesome shooting handgun. Absolutely ripped. There's a lot of thick, single action, double action, subcompacts, or whatever you want to call them, handguns out there that are absolutely amazing. You can find them used. You can find them cheaper if they're in 40. Like I said, this is in 9, but you can find these in 40 as well. They just rip. No recoil whatsoever. They're just awesome flat shooting handguns. I love this HK because it just, you feel it. You feel the confidence when you carry this. It's like my Glocks. You feel nothing is going to go wrong when you have this. It's a shooter. It's on point. It has a four pound single action trigger. That's really nice. Big open trigger guard for glove fingers. I mean, even though this is awkward, it rips. It absolutely is a shooter, 100%. Now, this was going for 1000 before the sale on PSA. Would I have bought it for 1000 Probably not. But if you can find it, 500 600 700 yeah. This is one of those handguns that'll be there when you need it to. Not like this P these PSA daggers, these micro daggers, all this crap out here. This is a real handgun. I'm sorry, it is. I, I hate when people don't like when I don't sugarcoat things. When I'm straight to the point, when I'm honest. You do not realize the amount of people that I've influenced and they always come back with positive uh, response. Always. Saying thank you. I, I should have gone with that from the start. You know, this handgun, I 